Well, the Minot State women's hockey team saw their season come to a close in the semifinal round of last year's ACHA National Tournament. But the Beavers are back on the ice this season with hopes of an even better finish in 2022. Seeing the 2021 season come to an end at the hands of second-seeded Midland Warriors was not an easy pill for Minot State to swallow. It was a super hard tournament just in general, like we had a pretty hard draw, but this semi-final game was challenging for sure and we really gave it our all, but obviously it wasn't quite enough. Very happy with the success of that season. Uh, heading into Nationals, uh, you know, we, we got through our first two games, the, the first one, the quarterfinals, and made it all the way to semis. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't go our way. Beavers lost just three players to graduation from last year's team who put together an overall record of 26-7, and losing just one home game all season. We have a quite a few new players, like we got eight incoming freshmen, so that's a big change, but for the most part, i say we're pretty comparable. We have some more age on the back end, which is kind of nice, and then our forwards, we got a lot of speed, so that'll be good. We're a fast team, we're a gritty team, you know, we work hard for the puck, obviously, um, Coming off of last year, we struggled to put the net puck in the net at times, so we want to make sure that we're finding those lanes and making sure we're crashing for rebounds and, and things like that. Having an advantage in the speed category is one element that's made Minot State a winning program. Every individual player on this team has so much skill and so much speed. I think it brings us an advantage on the ice. I feel like it allows us to be able to like win more battles, get to the puck first, and break out of certain situations and get that ice that we need. It, it opens up the ice so much more, you know, uh, obviously standing still, it allows the, our opponents to kind of make plays and uh, get, get in lanes and things like that. If we're consistently moving our feet, they kind of have to catch up with us or, or read the situation. The returners have enjoyed getting to know the new freshmen and seeing where they fit within the roster. Well, that's like the best part of the year is when you get newcomers coming in and you get to learn their personalities and really who they are and get to learn what kind of players they are on the ice. The freshmen coming in this year are really looking really strong and uh, strong with skating, shooting, all the good stuff. I'm thinking the freshmen will be getting in the lineup this year. Head coach Ryan Miner enters his sixth season with the Beavers, only seven wins away from the century mark in total wins with the program, bringing a player's perspective to the team. Miner's awesome, I love him, he's a D coach, so it's really nice having him around and he really knows what it is from a goalie's perspective, which is nice as a defenseman, like him telling kind of us like what he liked as a goalie and that helps us like break out of the zone and like see the ice better. It's the players, right? Um, you know, I can only do so much in terms of show them the systems. Um, it's really up to them when they're on the ice of what they do with it. So um, I can't take credit for any of it. It's all on them. I'm just happy that what they're doing has been successful and hopefully we have that same success this year. Besides his impact on the ice, the players enjoy Miner's personality. He's really goofy. <laughs> uh... Yeah, he, he has a good relationship with all the girls on the team, so he's a personal coach. Heading into the season, Miner says keeping the winning going requires something pretty simple. It all comes down to putting the puck in the back of the net. You know, obviously, uh, depending on who we play throughout the season, you know, we're going to play some of the top teams in the league and we're going to play some teams that are mid-pack. Uh, we know that we can score against those mid-pack teams, but really when it comes down to it, when we need a goal, we're going to have to figure out how to do that and figure out what, what people or players on the ice are going to be the ones to do that. MSU opens up the schedule October 7th right here at Mesa Arena against Maryville University.